Hey everybody, Basil Ray from Vape TV, the man behind the microphone today. No need to look at my ugly mug because everything we're going to do in this video is going to be nice and up close. So, I uh, recently ordered some new nicotine liquid uh, for doing some DIY juice mixing from a vendor I've never used before, which is wizardlabs.us. Um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to try out a new Nick vendor and to try out something that you can purchase from cherryvapes.com or from eliquidtest.com. Uh, that is the DIY nicotine test kit. So what you get with the kit is a little white uh, cup here. It's plastic. Um, looks like it should have a screw cap top, uh, but it doesn't. So it's just a little white plastic jug, uh, a bottle of sulfuric acid, which is diluted down to a reasonably safe level. Uh, and you're going to get a bottle of this uh, bromothamol blue, which is kind of just a, a chemical dyeing agent that we're going to use in this test. You also get a pair of very small, fine-needled syringes. They are three milliliters. These come new in a sterile package. They have very fine needles. Uh, so what I have done here to make this a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, I've also prepped a couple of other syringes. So these have all been washed uh, you know, just very clean, and then uh, we also took some distilled water and rinsed these out. To run this test, the only thing outside of nicotine liquid that you're going to need, uh, whether that be a commercially mixed juice, a juice you've mixed yourself, if you want to test that ratio, or if you want to test some nicotine, is um, some distilled water. I've measured out just enough to run this test here in a small bottle, again, just to speed it up for the video. So to run this test, the first thing we need to do is uh, take a look at this nicotine. So this is from Wizard Labs. It's 100 milligrams per milliliter. So 100 milligram nicotine, which it should go without saying, is um, incredibly dangerous. You want to be very careful. That's why I have these fancy gloves. And uh, you also want to keep it away from children, keep it in a safe, dark place. It's in this nice black opaque bottle. And mine happens to be 100% VG. So this stuff is really thick. To help measure this out, I'm going to use a, a different syringe one with a very big needle here. And um, come on, needle, where are you? There we go. This one with a nice big tip needle. Um, you can do this with anywhere from one to three milliliters of nicotine. And I'm going to go ahead and use three. Um, if you use one, you'll still get a fairly accurate number, but um, the more you use up to three milliliters, the more accurate your testing should be. The test is only going to be as accurate as the user. It's very important to note that up front. So I've measured out for this test three milliliters of 100 milligram nicotine that I'm going to uh, inject here into our little, uh, get in there, into our test cup. All right, so there is our nicotine in the cup. You can see a little, kind of almost not quite amberish color. Next, we are going to add our uh, distilled water. This, it's not necessarily important that you measure out a, a very specific amount. Keep in mind that uh, the instructions do say between 10 and 15 milliliters. You don't need to be precise. What we're just trying to do is dilute this down a little bit so we can dye it and then measure the chemical reaction in here to determine the nicotine content of this liquid. So I've got about 12 milliliters measured out here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump that into my little jug. Next step here is to add uh, six to eight drops of the blue. It just says six to eight. I would imagine you probably want eight if you're using three milliliters, seven for two, six drops for one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight drops of the blue. And we're gonna swirl this around a bit. We wanna get this uh, just kind of good and mixed up here. So what we should see is a nice cup of what looks like toilet water. That's exactly what we've got. Um, the next step now is to carefully measure out small doses of this sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a corrosive. This is diluted down um, to a safe level here. So you want to make sure that if you were to go and source any of this yourself, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend unless you're a chemist, um, you want to find one that's down to a, a, a 0.12 N level here, which is the uh, strength of the acid. So the next thing I'm going to do to speed this up for the video, I happen to know that for 100 milligram nicotine, um, to do the conversion here, we should be using approximately 15.4 milliliters of the acid. So to speed this up, um, normally you would be using small three mil um, pushes from a syringe or three mil draws from a syringe. I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna jump us right away up to 10 by using this separate syringe 
and pulling out five milliliters at a time. Now, as I mentioned, um, this is very important to be as accurate as you can at this stage. You're going to want to measure this out very carefully and you want to try and tap out any air bubbles. Oops, you can't see that. Tap out any air bubbles you might have in the syringe because this is where we get our measurement from. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of carefully, be careful here, you don't want to get any splashback on you. In fact, if you're very worried about it, you may want to wear some protective goggles or glasses, maybe throw on your, uh, your cheap sunglasses. And we're not gonna see a lot of difference here after five mils of uh, the acid. Now what we'll see after about 10 is that the blue should start to, to dilute down. At first it's just gonna look a little bit watery. So let's get another five mils of the acid here. Oopsies. And uh, this is getting tricky because I'm getting low on the acid. I've run this test a couple of times um, just to, to see on a few different things. So I'm gonna kinda really squeeze this bottle and pull up because we want to try not to get any air bubbles in here. I want to get exactly five mils. So the idea here is that we are measuring how much of the acid is going in here and that amount breaks down by a base multiplier which you can do yourself or you can look at the the predefined chart on eliquidtest.com to determine exactly how much nicotine is going in. So I'm going to kind of slowly again here do this. You want to swirl this around to mix a little bit. Now we're going to start to notice here that this is going to change a bit. So now I'm going to switch over to the small syringe. So the water is not looking quite as blue, starting to look a little bit dirty, uh, kind of murky. So we're going to go back to the small syringe. We've got 10 milliliters of that in. So let me get down to the bottom here. You got to be real careful too with these small syringes. Uh, the points are very sharp, so you do have the potential of poking a hole right in the bottom of the bottle. All right, so this is going to get us to 13 milliliters after this shot. So we're going to put this in slowly. So there's a half of a milliliter. So we put in 10, so that's 10 and a half. 11. I'm just kind of mixing this around. I want to slowly eyeball this and we'll notice that it's going to start to turn colors here on us. The closer we get to that 15.4, which is our measuring ratio here, assuming that this is 100 milligram nicotine. Okay, so now we are at uh, 12 milliliters of the acid. Twelve and a half. And now we can really see that it's starting to, to turn colors here. So there we go. Now we are at 13 milliliters. So the closer we get now, we know it's going to really start turning colors. You can see here, it looks less blue. Um, you know, it looks uh, quite a bit thinner and lighter. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure out a full three milliliters again, just in case. But uh, we should only be using at this point about two and a half milliliters. In fact, it's very hard with these little syringes to really get what you need out of them. All right, so we have three milliliters measured out. So if we were to put this whole amount in, it would get us to um, a full 16, which would be about 104 milligrams. So let's carefully here put in half of a milliliter. And now we can really start to see it turning a blue-green color. All right, so we're going to put in up to, boom. So we put in a milliliter and a half. So we are at 14 and a half, and it's looking quite blue-green right now. You'll notice as you start to put in the rest here that it's going to end up looking very um, yellow in the spots where the, the liquid gets in. So, getting close. We need about 
four tenths. So let's see if we can't get that down. And let's see where we're at. We're right about there now. And it's not quite there yet. Now it's important too, uh, depending on how accurate your measurements have been, you may need to add a little bit more of the blue. So right now we are at about, uh, let's see the syringe. We've added about 15 and a half. Now there is a, at this ratio, using the three milliliters to start, we do have about a, a plus or minus one differential uh, between the accuracy of the test and the nicotine itself. So we're trying to get to that magic point here where the whole thing turns yellow. It'll be very close. And I think that is going to be as close as we can get. And there you go. So this kind of just looks like a big cup of pee here now. So that uh, would put us at about 15, let's see the syringe here, 15.7. Uh, so we put in 15.7 milliliters. If we look at the test, the accuracy of that uh, being plus or minus one, 15.7 milliliters of the uh, sulfuric acid would put us at 102 milligrams per milliliter uh, with you know a plus or minus one. So it could be 103, could be 101. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call that pretty accurate, especially since this is um, incredibly un, I mean, it's not unscientific, but there's no real great way to get an accurate measurement. Um, at somebody's desk like this. I, I don't think we can get safe enough um, to say that, especially with you know this level of, of doing it. If we were to drop it out drop by drop, that would probably be an easy way to do it. But to do this in under 15 minutes on camera <laughs> with uh, you know very little amount of skill necessary, I can live with a reading of 101 to 103, if that's kind of the range there. I feel pretty confident in the quality and the nicotine content of this being that it's billed at 100 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment if you disagree. Otherwise, you can head out to eliquidtest.com or cherryvapes.com, who also resells these kits. Uh, again, you get the syringes, the cup, and you get uh, the bromothamol blue and the sulfuric acid. Um, or if you want some nicotine that we've kind of tested here, tested out, you can head on over to wizardlabs.us. Um, packaged very well, comes actually double sealed and triple wrapped, and uh, very, very good prices on nicotine. This seems to be pretty clean stuff. Um, here's a bottle of some uh, cinnamon ginger snap I mixed up. Looks nice and uh, clear, a little yellowish from the cinnamon oil. But I've been enjoying this nicotine, um, and I think it's of, of pretty good quality. Again, I'm Basil Ray. Catch me Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Vape TV Live. Um, head on out. Check out some nicotine. Check out some test kits. Um, do your own tests. See what you get. Remember, you can do this, too, with your own DIY juice mixes or with uh, commercially purchased juices if you feel the need. And uh, I say it every time. Please, by all means, take care.